What's up guys and ghouls? For today's 31 days of Halloween video, we are going to be filling up some treat bags. I do have the windows open because it is like the first time in a really long time that it is like cool enough outside in Florida that I can actually open the windows. It's about 77 degrees, which probably doesn't sound very cold, but it feels nice. <laughs> You're cute. Okay, Luna and I are gonna fill some treat bags today. These treat bags are gonna be what I give out to the children on Halloween, which is on a Monday this year. So I'm curious if kids are going to be trick-or-treating this weekend. Um, I have a feeling that I could anticipate a few people knocking on my door on like Saturday and Sunday um, looking for candy. So I figured I'll get these bags done now and then I don't have to worry about it. And I also wanted to fill these treats to go banners for my party. So that's something else we're gonna do. All right, so I'm just gonna dump a bunch of like candy and stuff around me. Hey, I figured I might also keep some of these out for my actual party because I figured these would be fun to play with. I like that they have cats and pumpkins though. Let me try on specifically this one. Also, I'm sure you guys are noticing that my hair is a different color. I did dye it the other day. It's not the color I was going for, but I think it's okay for right now. Okay, those don't even clip on my ear. <laughs> Check that out. These are for small children. Luna, let me see you. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing, mom? Luna, you realize that like no one can see what's going on because you're just standing in the way. What? This was at a dollar store and it only came with like 10 of them. <laughs> like, what is that? I think that's how they get you. The dollar store makes you feel like you're getting a really good deal, but you only get like 10 pieces of candy for a dollar. This, for instance, for these Krabby Patties that you get from the dollar store, you only get eight Krabby Patties. So it's kind of like, all right. They had, uh, this actually didn't seem like a good deal at the dollar store. It was four ring pops for a dollar. I kinda wanna try one of these like, Crabby Begums. My mouth is like salivating at the thought, like because I'm afraid. Okay. How? How is it so sour? Why am I dying right now? My tongue hurts, like it's painful. I'm done. Oh, I need like water. Go get my water. Mm, I don't want it from your mouth. I like opened my fridge and I got so nervous that I didn't have any water and I did. Let's get to packing. I like to do an even combination of like toys and candy. In this bag, I'm gonna grab a finger, peanut butter cup. Let's do a booger. Let's do a teeth. Um, let's do a bubble. Bouncy ball, and then let's do some Smarties, bubble gum. I think that's a good looking bag. I didn't get pencils this year or pens. That was the one thing that I kind of wanted to do. Check it out. Trick or treat. Bag of treats and tricks, but no, no, that's a lie. So my party is coming up rather quickly. Um, I didn't realize like how quickly this month was going, that's an airplane. I do want to thank you guys though for being so supportive um, of 31 days of Halloween. I was really nervous because I know that Halloween is not everybody's favorite holiday, um, but you guys really, really, really seem to embrace the videos and accept them and I didn't really have anyone who complained about the lack of other types of videos and I really appreciate that. And uh, on November 1st, we'll be back to regularly scheduled videos, so. Also, I want to apologize for how white I am. <laughs> I just looked into the camera finder and realized that I am a ghost. I am a literal ghost. Do a finger, and a booger, and a Krabby Patty, and a bouncy ball, and bubble gum, and another bubble gum, and a Butterfinger, and a pumpkin. I like how Luna is also finally laying behind me. She's looking out the window. It is so nice, you guys. I can't tell you how nice it is. I can tell you it's nice, but I can't explain it if you're not here to feel it. Let's do in this one a sunglass and a teeth so they can be super cool. Let's do a bouncy ball and boogers and a gum. 
and let's do ooh sour patch I forgot about you i think ian and i are going to go get a pumpkin tomorrow i haven't really thought about what i want to carve this year for like a pumpkin so leave your comment down below and give me an idea of what to carve because i'm not sure we're getting there you guys we got five down, only a million to go. Where do you guys buy your pumpkins? Like when you go pumpkin shopping, do you go to like a pumpkin patch? Do you go to a grocery store? Do you go to like a garden type place? Um, we don't really have pumpkin patches here in Florida. Like the pumpkins have to be imported. Um, so some of the like farmer's markets will sell them and they'll like make a fake makeshift pumpkin patch, but it's not like real. Oh, I know. I don't even know if I'm gonna get trick-or-treaters. <laughs> Every year that I've lived in an apartment, um, I haven't really gotten trick-or-treaters. In fact, I think the only year living in an apartment that we got even a few trick-or-treaters was at my very first apartment with Ian. And then every other year, we've never really gotten trick-or-treaters. I hope it's different this year though, because we're on the first floor and there seems to be a lot more like children type creatures here. So we'll see. about making these bags what you want them to be. You know, Halloween is, is fun for everyone, including Luna. She just, Luna, this is your video. This is your video. Everyone gets to see how big Luna has gotten. Don't eat the erasers. Gotta be manly, manly. Right, Luna? You don't get a kiss? I didn't know you were that close to me and I hate it. I have two more bags until we reach 15. So I think what I'm gonna do on these last two bags is just make them and then I'm gonna finish making the rest of them off camera because I know that this is not like the most exciting video ever. I just wanted to show you guys like my process. Like I throw all the candy in one area and I kind of just like go at it. Cause I can't really go trick or treating anymore since it's frowned upon. I love being able to give kids a good experience when they're trick or treating. Which is ironic because I don't, I'm not like the biggest fan of children, but I really like Halloween and making people happy. So what are you gonna do, bar mitzvahs? <sighs> okay, treat bags are done all up here. There's 45 treat bags. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill these treats to go banners. So this should be fun. There comes a time when you're doing this that like you get, you reach a point where you're just like, okay, I'm ready to be done. It's not that it's not fun anymore. It's just that you're like, okay, I'm ready. Like I'm done. I'm good. I'm good. I've been sitting cross-legged forever now and I feel like I'm dead. So, okay. So here is the banner. Here's the first one at least. All right. So the steps, be careful not to tear the back perforation, gently tear open the front perforation. Wait, what? I'm confused. Okay, wait, so. How are you supposed to do this? It wants me to carefully tear the back perforation and not the front one. Like, that's really hard because this is also where it tears off for the people to take the candy. Oh, okay, so let me let me do this first because I'm like afraid that I'm gonna screw this up. First one done. <laughs> Second one, let's do this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like the way that the bag is perforated, like they, you see how it's like misangled? I don't know if you can even see that, but like they <sighs> screwed it up. All right, so what I decided to do is I bought candy corn and I bought the mellow cream pumpkins, which I've actually never had. Um, and I'm gonna basically alternate on the banner and then people can just pick what they want and take them home. But it needs to be able to close, so. Cool. <laughs> you guys, look. This is gonna make the banner really heavy. I hope I can hang it. Very cool. Check it out. I'm like super surprised that <laughs> Luna, I'm like, I'm super surprised that Luna's not down here trying to eat these. So the pumpkin ones are in on the first one. Let's do the second one. Second 
second one is done. Now I just have to fill both of these with the candy corn. But I am going to pause and try one of these because I've never tried one. So it's just a candy corn. That's all it is. It's a candy corn in a pumpkin shape. I think this looks really cute so far. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like trying to like commandeer it as I transfer it into the bag from one bag to another. And here is the completed first garland. It looks really cool actually. And then obviously you guys will see what this looks like at my party once I get it hung on the wall. I have to figure out where I'm gonna hang it. I thought about hanging it near the front door so that when people are either coming in or leaving, um, they can just grab a bag as they go. But I don't know, we'll see. I'm really glad that I got four bags because I'm just about out of candy corn. Um, but what was really cool is that Target was having a buy three bags of candy corn and get one free, so I got a free bag. And they were only $2 a piece, so it was $6. And I thought about too, like if I were gonna put like chips in here, like something different, but I ended up going with candy corn. Cause, you know, either you love candy corn or you hate it. I'm one of those people who loves it. I just think candy corn tastes really great. Um, so if people like it, they can have it. If they don't like it, they don't have to take it. And I'll eat it. Shouldn't eat it, but I will. Second garland done! What? I love it. These are so fun. They're really heavy though. That's the only thing. But I think that the plastic will hold up because it does look like it's sewn pretty well, so. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know I didn't do every bag of candy on camera, but obviously that's a lot of bags of candy to do, so. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless, and I hope you got some ideas for your Halloween bags of candy and stuff. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow for another 31 days of Vlogoween episode. Bye everyone. We're gonna say bye. Say bye. Say bye.